hurry over. Hurry and gather round quickly, my friends. This is something you have to see in order to believe. Step up and thank you for stepping up closer, my friend. I want you to see one of the strangest phenomena of all times. As I said, you've got to see it. And we have tickets for free for all of you to enter because, well, uh, because of Mr. Harold White of New York City, New York, asked for it. That's why. He said, dear Art Baker, I've heard of a headless woman who tours the country as a sideshow attraction, and I don't think it's possible for a human body without a head to be kept alive. So I'm asking to see this woman on your show to find out if she is really genuine. Sign Harold White. Mr. White, that headless woman that you asked for is right inside here. Her name is Olga Hessler. As to whether it's genuine, I am not in a position to say. I will leave that to you. Tell you what, let's all go in and find out and straighten this thing out once and for all, because uh, you asked for it. <laughs> Here are the highlights for this phenomenal attraction. Her name is Olga Hessler, who was injured in a train wreck going from Paris to Berlin. Her brain was pierced and her head was crushed. Aboard that same train, a famous medical doctor scientist gave her the medical attention that she needed. He asked permission of the government if he could keep the girl alive. And now, with the aid of medical science, we're going to show you that she's alive, living and breathing in front of your eyes. Here is the oxygen tank that we use to keep the girl breathing. This is the meter that we register the amount of air that goes into the girl's body. And as we increase the oxygen, we want you to notice the heavy breathing of the body. This girl is fed seven times a day using a liquid diet. The vitamins, the minerals passing into this glass tube of liquid and then on through this rubber tube you see here, which is connected with the girl and into her body. She's fed practically once every three hours, receiving seven meals a day. And that's the way we feed this girl. The important question that people ask, is she really alive? Is it a real person? Well, the only way that we could prove that to you is by shocking the nerve system. Look, this is the generator that produces the electricity that shocks the nervous system, causing the body to move. Watch this. And that, folks, concludes my part of the performance. We do want to thank you very much for your kind attention. And now right back over to Art Baker. And you sure had my attention, believe me, riveted on that amazing demonstration. But I have an obligation here to answer a question very definitely. Said, uh, is this real or is this a trick? Well, Art, it really is a trick mm -hmm. and a darn good one, too. I'll have to have it explained. Well, I'll explain that to you. Where the girl's head would be, we have this apparatus. Now there's a mirror right in this position, right here. And another mirror on this side. It's reflecting the walls, which gives the illusion of looking right straight through, making it appear headless. We'll turn the girl around so you can understand what I mean. And there you see uh -huh. a normal person. There's her head, of course. Here's the back of the mirror that I pointed to, and there's one more on the other side. And as I bring her back to her original position, you can see how Olga, the headless woman, is shown all over the country. And baffled thousands and thousands of people. I'm glad to know that she's well and normal, believe me. That is the most baffling of all. That came from overseas, didn't it? Germany, you? yes, mm -hmm. that was imported. We want to thank you and uh, say, Olga. Yeah. Thank you for being alive, honey, and well up there. 
And we thank you very much for once more uh, showing and explaining how this illusion is done. Thank you. And to you, Mr. Harold White out there in New York City, New York, believe me, we're all a good deal smarter right now because, once again, it was explained because you asked for it. Thank <laughs> you.